Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to Mama Shmoo's Reviews. I have been missing you guys. I am showing you guys a library haul because we are moving and we packed up a lot of our books. So I wanted to make sure that we had like a stack of books that we could be reading for the season of fall, which is one of my favorites. And I got The Planting the Wild Garden. This is such a, a really pretty book with illustrations and it talks about seeds and how they form and I like how the illustrations are. They're very like whimsical and the colors are really pretty talking about thistles and all these amazing plants and it's a very cute story and it's really simple and this is a perfect book for like elementary kids or even toddlers and I absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty. The other book I got was called Seed Sprout and Pumping Pie by National Geographic Kids and I like it because it shows actual photographs and it's a very very small book and it's great for the kids to read by themselves. And then I got Autumn Leaves. This is a really cute book about leaves and the colors so this is good for my toddler that's three years old because he's learning his colors and it's really simplistic and again there's real photos so I love that. I also got this fun Thanksgiving book with like a bunch of crafts. Um, we have not done any of them yet, but I want to get some inspiration. And it's always cool to have this type of a book to look at and see what fun things there are other than Pinterest. Because I know that these are a little bit more antiquated, older books, and they might have some interesting projects to do. That's actually really cute. This book is called Pumpkin Soup by Helen Cooper. And it's really cute. I read this to my my kids already, and the pictures are really pretty. And it's talking about how they make their pumpkin soup together, and it's a really sweet story. And the illustrations and the story is really fun. They really enjoy this one. This one is called Wonderful Fall, and it has really cute, very simple fall poems. And the pictures are really fun and abstract looking. And I thought it would be fun to read through with my kids, and I did. And they actually sat through the whole book. We read it pretty quickly. And it's a lot of colorful pictures for them to be looking at while I read the little stories. So they enjoyed that. I also got Acorn 2 Oak Tree. And this one is really neat. It's a very cute little book that my daughter has been looking at. And... It talks about how the acorn turns into a tree, the seasons, and shows cute little pictures of squirrels and the oak tree's life cycle. So this is a really neat little book that you could probably turn into a unit study if you're looking into doing like a unit study for trees. We also got my leaf book, which we read through, which I really love. The only thing that I don't love about it is that it has a more of an abstract and not more of a natural type of a way that they look at leaves but I thought it was creative and they have a leaf book that they're making with their tree guide and I think I want to make a leaf book and maybe like put leaves in there and hot mod podge it or hodgepod mod podge <laughs> and um, they give the names of all the leaves and then they pretend that there's certain shapes on the trees so like this one for instance I thought it was weird how they did stars for a sweet gum leaf and I see where they come up with the star shape, but it just doesn't seem like a star to me. But it was cute how they had their little nature journal with their leaves. And this was definitely good for my toddler and for my four-year-old. With the shapes for my toddler and then for my four-year-old she could learn the names of the leaves. And then I got how the Sphinx got to the museum because we're learning about ancient Egypt. And Bookshark provided tons of books, but I just thought it'd be cool to have my daughter just look through this as a picture book. I haven't read this to her yet, and we actually did this today. We put pencils under like a really heavy book, and I was showing them how you like move things back in the days, how they use logs to roll the stones to the pyramids. So yeah, so this like just ties into what we're learning already. Of course, you have to get book about dogs. They actually really love this one. It's so cute. It's about the story of this boy having a dream and his dog becoming a baseball team and <laughs> it's really cute. They love dogs. We don't have any but their grandmother does so they love Last but not least, a Valentine's Day book for Berenstein Bears which 
is one of my daughter's picks, as you can tell, because this totally ties into the season of fall, right, guys? But it's a really cute Berenstein Bear book, so if you are looking into Valentine's Day books for February, this one was definitely a good one I read to her. She loved it. That is it, you guys. That's my book haul for the fall. I hope you guys enjoy all the picks. These are the ones that I can find. I've seen a lot of books in the past, but they actually just... Um, ran out of a bunch of fall books. I guess I was too late to the party. Uh, I will be doing a upcoming homeschool um, updates of how I use Bookshark with history and science and how I plan out my year, just like a brief little outline. If you guys want to know more about that, stay tuned, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.